the age of steel. So this is like the continuation of the last like um episode of the rise of the Cyberman in episode five, as you remember. Don't like bother my. If you guys wonder what is happening like here, I had this like. I had this rash on like the face, probably with there's a couple of things. Maybe I ate something wrong on like face wash, uh, face wash, but then after that I started putting face mask on, and suddenly this like dot starting to appear out, and I started scratching it, and it started to like burst with like blood coming out, and probably turning into a zombie. You would just wonder, but anyways, it's like that. We are going like this episode. So, in the parallel world, there's two Rickies. I don't think I've like explained it properly. Last in the previous episode, there's two Rickies. One of the Rickies died. That belongs to the parallel world, and the one that belongs to the Real world, uh, decided to stay, not to replace him, but to remember him. So yeah. Get it, do you? An army is nothing. For those ordinary people, they're the key. The most ordinary person can change the world. Some ordinary man or woman. I mean, here, all it takes is for him to find say the right numbers, say the right code. Say, for example, the code behind the emotional inhibitor, the code right behind the an idiot! Knows how to get past firewalls and passwords. Knows how to find something encrypted in the Lumi family database. Under uh, what was it, Pete? Binary what? Binary nine. An idiot can find that code. Translation code. And he'd keep on typing. Keep on typing. 